ready to do some DIYing tonight. Just gonna wait for a few people to hop on. Got something cute tonight to do. Just gonna give it a minute. <clears throat> Make sure I have everything ready. Oh, somebody's on. Just say hey when you get on. <clears throat> Somebody's there. I don't know who it is, but you can say hey. Getting ready to do a little craft tonight. And then they're gone. <laughs> and they're back. Hello. Say hey. I'm just waiting for some more people to hop on. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Hey Carol, how are you? You feeling better? Hey Bobby, how are you? Tupelo is not that far from me. About an hour and a half. <clears throat> I'm just gonna give it another minute. Oh, I've got water all over me. Now, my allergies have been bad too, Carol. They're horrible. I have to take medicine. Thank you, Bobby. I appreciate you sprinkling. <coughs> Can't even see my little sign. I got over here. Maybe, maybe you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, Carol. I take an allergy med pill in the morning and one at night, and I do every single day of my life, and it's terrible. <coughs> Excuse me. This pollen's killing me. Um. Bobby, I'm, I live in Hernando, Mississippi, so that's not far from Tupelo. Still blob, and I'm sure tomorrow will be better. Yeah, just take you some Benadryl and go to bed. <laughs> Sometimes I have to take some Benadryl and just go to bed, too, so if it gets bad. Mine are bad right now, too. Hey, Bill. Hey, Annette. You're new. Well, thank you. I'm glad you found me. Um, I try to do lives twice a week. So just stick around and see some more stuff coming. Hey, Michelle. All right, guys, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. I'm Lee from the Turquoise Valentine, and I'm going to show you all how to do a little quick DIY tonight. I've been cleaning out my craft room for the last week, I guess, and I rearranged everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today I tackled my closet. So for two reasons. One, that it needed it really bad. And then two, three, uh, two because I was hoping to kind of get something, um, get some inspiration for something to do. So, um, hey, Tarita, I'm glad you made it. Hey, Karen. Hey, Janet. Hey, Carol and Grant. <coughs> okay. So, we're going to get started. So, my, the main focus of the thing I'm doing tonight is this chalkboard from Hobby Lobby. I got it, as you can see, on clearance. Uh, it was regularly... $7.99. I don't know if you can see that. And I got it for $1.99 because they marked a bunch of stuff down. And I was lucky enough to get a few of these. So I'm not going to leave it. At, it's really a chalkboard, but I'm not going to leave it that way. I'm going to just totally make over the whole thing. So that's what we're going to do tonight. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and finish peeling off this clearance sticker. But yeah, I got it for $1.99. It was regularly $8. So. Hey, Colin, are you on? It's got to be you doing all the little thumbs up things. <laughs> so, did y'all have a good day today? I did. I was off work, and then I'm off work tomorrow because it's Good Friday. But, um, I just mainly did my... <clears throat> I feel like I've got something in my throat. I mainly did my craft room today. So, thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. Yeah, that is a steel bobby, and I got, I actually picked up like four of them, so I have another one, and then I have two that are blue, but I knew that when I saw it that I was going to totally do something else to it, but I just like it because it's a shape, <clears throat> and if you wanted to recreate this, 
what I'm going to do, you could totally do a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. They're probably a little, I don't know, they're maybe this size. I'm not sure. Hey, Lana. Oh, South Georgia. I'm glad you found me. Thank you for hopping on tonight. Um, so, I'm going to take this. And the first thing I'm going to do is, um, got my favorite, favorite Waverly White Talk paint. And I'm going to paint the edges white. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I actually painted a cabinet last night with this stuff and it was wonderful. I love that paint. Hey Kim, <clears throat> excuse me y'all. I feel like I've got some in my throat. But all right, so I'm just going to talk and paint. I'm just going to go around the edges. Like I said, if you wanted to do the Dollar Tree pizza pan, that would be perfect for this. Um, what I'm going to do, I've seen a lot of people use those for different things. So you are, you could certainly do that. I'm not saying going out to the Dollar Tree and get one, but, um, but you can. Hey, Susan, a snowstorm. Oh my gracious. I, I don't, I couldn't handle that. I'm telling you right now, I could not do it. So I'm not, guys, I'm not really worried about getting the paint on the chalkboard part. Because I'm going to cover that up, okay? I'm not going to leave it as a chalkboard. So I'm just going to kind of brush on. That would be cute using one of the... It would. I've seen a lot of people use the placemats. Um, I My Dollar Tree just doesn't have a lot of what a lot of Dollar Trees do. So I they don't have real good um, placemats, I guess. Hey, Betty from Kentucky. Glad you're here. We're just... Painting and chatting a little bit so I can get this prepped and started. I started to go ahead and do this ahead of time. And I thought no, because I always kind of try to do a little ahead of time. But I just didn't this time. I figured I'd just talk to y'all and paint a little bit. So I'm just painting the edges. And like I said, I'm not worried about getting it on that chalkboard part. Because we're going to put something over that part. So... <clears throat> I was fine until I got on here and my nose is running and everything else. So I don't know what's going on. I guess it's the pollen. Hey, Jennifer from Ohio. Hey, Lenise, how are you? So I'm just getting in there and getting that edge good. And this stuff dries really quick. Um, like I said, I painted a cabinet last night with this Waverly White Top paint. The whole cabinet. And um, it worked so good and... My husband, I was, by the time I finished the last side, I was already starting back on the, the one I had already put one coat on. And my husband was like, gosh, that stuff must dry fast. So I said, oh, it does. It dries really quick, which is the beauty of it because you can just go right back over it. <clears throat> it dries quickly. So now is where I'm going to have a little bit of a, a time. Now i got to hold it like a pizza pan. Hey, Paige. Thank you, Lanise. Just keep coming back and follow my page. There's a, um, if you tap the screen, it'll come up and you can hit follow and you can follow my page. Hey, Haley from North Carolina. Is anybody else having snow? Somebody a minute ago said it was, they're in a snowstorm. I'm like, oh my gosh. <clears throat> when it gets below 60 here, I get cold. So I don't like the cold. It was beautiful here today. Probably in the 70s and sunny and breezy and pretty and <clears throat> of course I was in here redoing my uh, craft closet. After I take stuff out and poke it back in and take it out and poke it back in, it after a while it gets to be a hot mess and I cannot, I just can't, I can't deal with it anymore. I did break out my hair dryer though. Hey Peggy. I got this, uh, well, I say I got my hair, I got a hair dryer. This is like our household spare hair dryer. There ain't a high and a low. Oh, there's a low. I'm going to try to get it to dry quick. Hope that's not too loud. In Pennsylvania. You're not having snow, are you? snow i'm ready for summertime although it's supposed to be like 40 something tonight here 
and then I think it's supposed to be, um, I think my husband said like in the 30s, one night next week, like Monday night or something. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I thought that was over with, but we got to have our little Easter snap, I guess. We always have a little, a little snap right before Easter, it seems like. Just high winds. It's been windy here. It's been breezy, I'd say. I wouldn't say windy. But yeah, it's breezy. Alright, so I'm going to brush over it one more time. Put another, another coat on it. What else y'all got going on? Y'all have any questions? You're welcome to ask me questions. <clears throat> where are, where am I? I am in Mississippi. I'm right at the tip of the sip, as they say. I'm up right below Memphis, Tennessee. So right in the corner of the state. The west corner of the state. So that's where I live. I love it up here. I used to live in central Mississippi, and I moved, uh, married a man and moved up here probably almost four years ago. Ardmore, Ardmore Alabama. Like, I'm, I'm in Hernando, Mississippi. Where is Ard, Ardmore, Alabama? Where's that, Rosemary? I'm not familiar with that. <coughs> And somebody asked me the other night um, about chalk paint, which this is chalk paint, um, about some people dipping in water. And it made me think about it because my brush is doing that. Sometimes, like, if you don't have a real high humidity in your house, hey, Christine from Louisiana, um, if you don't have a lot of humidity in your house, this paint, like I said, it dries quickly. And your brush will get kind of, I don't know, sticky almost because I guess the paint on the brush is trying to dry. So I told her she was wanting to know that she saw some people dip it in water. And I said, yes, if it starts getting kind of um, sticky, which it is now because it's like it's trying to dry, um, you can dip your brush in a little water. My, grand, my daughter lives in West Point, Mississippi. I know exactly where that is. Been through there many a times. Hey, Stacy. Good to have you on. But, um... So some people will dip it in a little water or spray a little water on their brush just because the chalk paint will get, um, I can't tell if I got the edges coated good. It'll get kind of dry and that's what this is doing. So, but I'm about done. So just making sure I got it good and coated. And then I'm gonna stick it over here on my little fan. Let my little fan blow on it. And see what y'all are saying. North of Huntsville, Alabama, 80 miles from Nassau, Tennessee. Okay, I know about where that is. Auburn, all that up that way. I know exactly where that is. Okay, so guys, if you're just hopping on, I took this little chalkboard from Hobby Lobby that I got on sale for $2, and I painted the edges with Waverly White chalk paint. And now I'm kind of letting that dry a minute under my fan. <clears throat> Relatives in West Point. All right. So I know y'all are wondering what I'm going to do to the center. Well, you know I have this. And, the, and this. Every time. I don't even know why I'm going to throw this away. Every time I pick it up. This comes out. I just need to throw it away. But anyway. This is um, some. It's called adhesive wallpaper. But it's kind of like contact paper. It's got little lines on the back. And I got it off Amazon. It's a roll. I was going to do something with it. Now I'm just doing projects with it. So. Um. You bought the same one. Can't wait to see what you're doing. Oh, the chalkboard thing? Yes. Um, so anyway, so this is contact paper I got off Amazon. It's called adhesive wallpaper. Y'all can see, kind of looks like uh, old wood, whitewashed wood. So anyway. Oh, Stacy, you're sweet. Yeah, my crafty sister. Okay, so what I've done already is I have cut out this circle out of that adhesive paper. And we're going to put it in the middle okay so my husband actually helped me cut this out because there was a little trick to it so what we did was see this thing keeps coming out <laughs> i'm gonna throw it in the garbage right now it's gone okay so what i did was is we rolled it out over the chalkboard because it's got a little lip right here and if you can't see guys at the bottom of your screen if you'll swipe the screen then it'll get the comments out of the way and you can see what's going on 
some people don't know that, so I just figured I might tell you so you know. Um, so there's a little lip here, so we rolled it out, and my husband said, get a crayon. I turned it on the wrong side, laid it out, and I just took a crayon and just kind of made a, made a little mark where that little grit, that little edge is, and then I just cut around it. So then, after I had that done, I, you can still actually see some of the purple crayon I used. But anyway, so then after I did it, I put it down in there like that, and I took my little X-Acto knifey thing, and I went around and kind of trimmed it some more, so it'll be the perfect size. So it wasn't easy to get that um, to get that uh, inside circle, <laughs> but uh, he had to help me hold the stuff and everything because it was rolling up and all that. So, so that's how I did that. But you could use scrapbook paper. I actually had some scrapbook paper out. You know, I had some black and white stripe. You could mod podge that on here. It would be fine. I didn't have a whole piece of um, the barnwood looking paper because I've used it for other stuff. So I was like, well, I can't do that. So I'll use my uh, adhesive paper. Okay. So, <clears throat> so here we go so far. Just like that. And I'm hoping that that black is not going to show through. And I think we'll be okay. But this stuff is really great. It, um, like I said, I got it on Amazon. I was going to use it for a backdrop for my photograph when I take pictures, but then I ended up using something else, and I have this whole roll of this stuff, so I've been using it on different projects. But it is very forgiving. Um, you can pick it up and move it where you want to, and then lay it down, and then if you don't like it, you can reposition it, so it's really awesome. So I'm just peeling off the back. See, it's got all the little cool lines on it. Hey, Terry! Terry! I called a minute of you a while ago, and I spoke to you, and then I had to jump off and jump on here. Okay, so here's my paper. I think I'm going to make the lines go sideways, kind of like shiplap, instead of up and down. So now I'm just getting my hanger. See, I'm leaving that ribbon on there. don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but we're going to see. If I get this crooked, I won't use it. I'll just hang it straight with a piece of jute instead of trying to get this straight. Okay. So I've got my stuff, and I'm going to try my best to get it straight. And you got some lines on something. Sometimes that makes it a little bit challenging because you got to get those straight. And I'm trying to hold the sides and the edges. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of smooth my fingers around. And yes, you can kind of see through it a little bit, but I don't think you're going to notice once I get... Get it all fixed. See how cute that looks? It looks cute already. So anyway, so I got that on there. But you can kind of see under here, see where my chalk paint went, and then there's the black. But that's okay because we're going to we're gonna fix it and dress it up, okay? So yes, my exact, I went around with an X-Acto knife, and if you look close, you can actually see that it doesn't go all the way to the edge. So don't think, oh, that's, she cut a perfect circle. Hey, Kimberly. Um... But I didn't cut a perfect circle because you can see that it's not totally on the edge. And then over here, when I laid it down, it's kind of overlapped a bit. But we're going to fix that too. We're going to just fix it all up. Um, so the next thing I have is this little word that says, hello. I did cut this out on my Glowforge. Um, they sell these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, another alternative I did get out today to show you, because I really, I started to use this. This is, hey Linda, this um, is a little metal welcome, and it came in the harvest pack that Dollar Tree had, and it's a, it's just little metal. Um, they, they put them out every season at Christmas, they had them, and then at Valentine's and at Easter, they had them, and this is the welcome one that came in the little harvest uh, at fall, the fall time. It came in that pack. So I started to use that, so you could definitely use that if you have that in your stash. That would look cute. You could also brush some Waverly paint on here and paint it white, black, whatever color you wanted, and that would definitely look cute. But I'm going to do my hello. <laughs> you had a big box today and Bill thought I was like, look, Carol, that Glowforge, I promise you, it comes in a box the size of, it's like a small coffin. I mean, 
it's it was it come up to here on me standing on end and it's like this wide well maybe that wide it's huge it's a huge box so anyway so there's my little words so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to fix these up and i'm going to show y'all what i'm going to do to them but like i said if you want to use something that you have or you could get on the computer and print out some a word in a real pretty font and then cut it out real intricately you could do that um, if you have a Cricut, you could cut out some vinyl and put on this, however you want to do it. So there's my word, and I'm going to use, because I see a bunch of people use these little makeup sponges, and I'm going to try that tonight. So I think I am going to, right, here's the choices of my colors, because I, I, it's going to match something else that we're doing. But I'm going to give y'all the choice. What do y'all think? The light pink, the hot pink, or the lavender? Y'all choose. Because I got these three out. And I didn't really know what color I wanted to do. But they all match what we're doing. So what's the circle? Graham, it is this little chalkboard. I got several of these at Hobby Lobby when they were on sale. They're regularly $8. And I got it on sale for $1.99. So I picked up four of these. It's been, it's been like a month or so ago. Before all this happened. Like way before all this happened. So hot pink, hot pink, hot pink, light pink, purple, lavender, hot pink. I think I got more hot pink. So there's lavender, lavender, light pink. <laughs> Makeup sponges when making signs in chalk paint, doing stencils. Yes, I've seen a lot of people do that, and I, I, I have some. I just never have done it. I think I got more hot pinks than anything. So Graham, all I did was I painted the edges with the chalk paint and then I put this contact paper in the um, center that I got off Amazon. It comes on a roll like this for like $6, $7, something like that. Um, lavender, light pink, hot pink. Okay, I'm gonna do hot pink because I think I got a lot of hot pinks. So I'm gonna do hot pink. But any of those colors would work. And like I said, if you, you know, you could do this. You could leave it a chalkboard if you wanted to. But um, like I told some people, you could go um, do the pizza pan at Dollar Tree. These would, that would work too. Okay, so I got my little makeup sponge and I just kind of dab it in there. This is new to me. I see a lot of people doing it. I've never done it. So I'm just going to kind of start. And I'm just going to dab it on. Cause I'm not gonna paint the edges of it, cause that would t I'd be here all night <laughs> painting all those little bitty um, intricate little sides. But a lot of people on my Glowforge page on Facebook, they that's just how they paint their wood signs and stuff. And um, so I figured I would give it a whirl tonight and try it. Is that a pizza pan? No, it is this right here. Der Honda. It's a it's a chalkboard from Hobby Lobby, and I got it on sale for like $1.99. They were clearancing some stuff out, and I got lucky and got, and got a few. So, um, but you could use a pizza pan, because, I mean, it's pretty much, you know, the same thing. It's about the same size as the Dollar Tree pizza pan. Thank you, Sylvia. Hello. So, I'm just kind of dabbing this on, and it's working pretty good. So I cut this out, I guess this past weekend, I was just playing around trying to cut out, see if what I could cut out with my Glowforge. I've just been kind of playing with it. Um, so I cut this out of wood. All right. So we had a lot of purples and pinks, but I think I'm gonna go with pink. I think I had more hot pinks than I did lavender, so. But it's going to match what we're doing. Thank y'all for coming on tonight. Thank you. I like the color too. Thank y'all for hopping on and chatting with me. Miss shopping. I do. I miss shopping too. And I miss going to the thrift store and the Goodwill. And of course, after I cleaned out my room today, I was like, Lord have mercy. I don't need to go anywhere else to buy nothing else. 
I have a small dollar tree in this room and I kid around and say that I have a dollar bush. I don't have a dollar tree. I have a dollar bush in this room. Because uh, before the we got locked down, I went and got, um, <laughs> I went and stocked up on some supplies so I could have some stuff to do if we got locked down. Everybody was buying toilet paper and water and I was <laughs> I was going to the Dollar Tree and buying supplies. But I had a lot before that too, so um, I'm sure my husband will chime in in a minute and be like, no, she had it all before. Okay, so I think I got it. I just kind of went over it a couple of times. I kind of like this method. This is a lot easier than um, paint brushing for sure, because if you brush it with, with a paint brush, you know, it'll kind of go over the edge and be all gloppy. Isn't that cute? Look at it. Boing, 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 boing. That's how delicate this is. That little piece in there is so small. But anyway, so I'm going to set it over here. We're going to let it dry. So now, next step we're going to do is, you know, I'm not going to leave this frame like it is. I'm going to do a little something to it. And this is this is my friend Carol. This is inspiration from her because I had to have some of these after I saw her use them. I love them. And I'm, this is my first real project that I'm going to do. That makes the words look so cute. What the paint? Like that? So anyway, so I'm going to take these little, these are little half beads. If y'all can see them, they're not a full bead. It's like split in half and it's flat on the back. So it's just a little, it looks like a little dome, a little bump thing. So they're split beads. These are 15 millimeters. So they're kind of, they're, you know, they're not too, too big, but, so anyway, so I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them around the edge, and I'm going to try to go kind of fast so y'all won't have to sit here and, hey Jason, and watch me glue little beads all night. So I'm just going to kind of put it on there and let it go. But I will say, if you are hanging this outside, if you were to do this and you were hanging it outside, in the heat for the summer, I would definitely use um, E6000 because the heat will make it, will make them fall off because they'll get like here in Mississippi it gets pretty hot and um, you'll your little things will start falling off. Carol, what size? Um, hello. What size um, beads do you get, the little split beads? Because mine looks smaller than yours look. You get the 20. What are the beads called? The pack says, hold on. And I'm just putting them on here, guys, and I'm just eyeballing them. Um, split wood beads. 15 millimeters. And they come in like a little pack. But they're like... They're ha see how they're flat on one side and they're puffed on the other like a bead split right in the middle. No way the machine cuts. cuts. No, the ma my machine didn't cut these. Oh, you mean no, it's cute the way the machine cuts it. Okay, okay. Back to what you said a minute ago. I got them from Amazon, yes. I can leave a link if you want me to. But they have different sizes, too. I just got the 15 millimeter. I don't know why. You get the one and a half inch, which is what I think is the same as 15. They, no, these look little. These are like, they aren't even a half an inch, probably. And so I have come to find out he started selling the cutouts. I have a little bit. I, um... I saw a few of these little rabbits, the little rabbits up here that I did. I've sold some people those shapes of those, but that's really it. I haven't really done a lot of that because I've really just been trying to figure it out and play with it and cut out all the things <laughs> that I want to cut out. Um, I cut out, if y'all saw this past weekend, I cut out a little Yoda and I had him on page. And my oldest son paint and his girlfriend painted that. And he was so cute. Y'all, I'm just putting a little dot on the back with all the glue strings on the back. And then I'm just putting them down. But Carol, I think these are a lot smaller than yours. Now I got glue oozing out of that one. 
that's the thing you got to be careful not to get too much glue or you'll have that happen like I just did oh well I'm not gonna worry about it bought the rabbits from her and they tried to yes her she bought some rabbits from me and she sent me a picture I swear I think she got them out of the mail and did them and they look so cute so so cute but I'm just putting a little dot because and I'm just kind of looking at it and just kind of lay them down how I think they do look smaller on Amazon so out of the ones I got I just got on there and I was like okay I just get 15 millimeter but what I was gonna say was I have found out that some of this stuff that I do and y'all see me do it on a video I guess it looks bigger to y'all than it does when it's in person because my oldest son this weekend he was like mom he's like that rabbit you that you painted because it's actually over here it's a rabbit that y'all can't see it's off camera um he was like i thought that thing was this tall and i'm like no son it was only that big he goes well on the video it looks so big and i was like no it's just that's the size it is <laughs> So I don't know if things look really big. So I don't know. I know y'all are sitting here going, oh my gosh, she's gluing 900 things around this. But it's looking so good. Y'all wanna see so far? I love it. I think it looks so good. But I like that natural look on that white. I think it's pretty. Because I started to put them all on there and then paint them white. And that's an option. You could do that too. Or you could kind of like dry brush them white. And that would look pretty. Ugh. I'm late, but I'm here. I was watching CMT special about Kenny Rogers. Oh, gosh. Becky, I didn't know they had something on about him tonight. I hate that he passed away. He, um... Hey, Donna from Colorado. Um, I got glue strings everywhere. I'm glad I didn't watch it because I would have probably cried too. I about cried when Dolly Parton was on there talking about him that, like the day after he died. Hey, Kathy. Thank you. Well, hang around. You can hit the screen and you can hit the follow button or you can hit the turn on when I go live and it'll notify you when I go live. Kathy from Ohio. So, a bunch of people from Ohio here tonight. I'm almost done, guys. I'm just dotting and gluing. I'm getting to where I'm not real fan of the hot glue. Yes, I love um, E6000 too. I'm a big fan of it. Some people aren't because it smells really bad. But I love E6000. Because if I want something to stay there and hold, it's going to stay there and hold. It's not going anywhere. And I'm not going to go all the way around. Because we're going to do something to the side. I just got to see where, where my top is. Okay. What was wrong with Kenny Rogers? He, I think he had, um, he had bladder cancer, I think. And, um... He had isolated himself, I think, like six months ago because he knew um, he knew that he was not doing good. But he was, I don't know how old he was. He had to be like 80. But um, he had, I think he had bladder cancer. So he wasn't, he wasn't in the best of health. Then they started making memes about him after this coronavirus. Which I'll admit, they were funny. I laughed. But said he said um, no when to hold them, no when to fold them, that he folded in the middle of apocalypse or something like that. I know that's not funny, but he's definitely a country icon for sure. I saw him in concert when I was, oh, I was probably eight or nine years old. Hey, Ann, glad you're here. Stick around. Hit the little follow button up there. Thank you, Donna. All right, guys. I'm almost done with my little knobbies or whatever you want to call them. He died of natural causes at 81. Yeah, I think he had bladder cancer or something. 
he was an amazing artist. Yes, he was. He was, he was one of a kind for sure. But Dolly Parton, bless her heart, she broke down and was crying the next day and talking about what good friends they were. And I was just like, bless, his, bless her heart. They were country when it was really country. He was 83. Well, he's 81. 83, okay. All right, I'm going to put a couple more. One more. Because I'm going to put something up. I'm going to put some... Something over here, so I'm not really worried about the. Well, I got glue glue strings everywhere. Okay, so there's that. Look how pretty it is. So it started off looking like this, and now we have this. So I would have cried like a baby too if I don't want to watch that show. Oh hey, Ann. Yeah, you'll have to watch the replay. It'll be there. Have 101 watchers. Yeah. 130 awesome guys y'all just keep on sprinkling okay so now I bet y'all can guess what I'm gonna put right here I know y'all can guess what does it look like it needs <laughs> I'm sure these are all stuck down and they're not going anywhere thank you Ann so y'all know I have a whole florist up in here it looks cute already. It does look cute. It would look cute even if I just kept going and did did the rest of the way around and just put the, the word on there. It would look really cute. What is that white on my... Okay. So see, look how cute this is. It's so cute. Okay. But I'm not going to do that. Thank you, April. No, I'm not going to do a bow. I'm going to do some flowers. So, I'm going to try to do some flowers. Let me move all this stuff I got over here. But I think I need to lay some greenery down first. And I got these big old things of... These came from Walmart. I've had them a while. They've been in... You can see that one's just came off there. It's been in my, my closet in there. And... Then got all bent and everything else. So, I'm going to attempt to try... I mean, these things are long. I don't know where they thought these would go, but good Lord, they're long. Okay. Where are my wire cutters? So I'm just going to take some, some of my little wire cutter things, and I'm going to nip them off. So I can put like a little greenery little swag thing. And let's see. I'm just going to cut them up. Thank you, Annette. I appreciate that. Uh oh, I just put that leaf down in my pink paint. All right. So I got my greenery. I'm just going to kind of trying to arrange them. And I'm going to kind of curve them around because I want them to kind of go with the flow of my thing, of my sign. I'm just got to figure out where, how big I want it to be. Pretty flowers, they match sign. Yes. That's why I was choosing those colors because I have some other stuff out here. I don't know if that's just too big or not. I think that's too big. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. Pretty flowers, yeah. Sprinkle. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Oh, can't cut that one. Alright. So here's my greenery. And... I got more tricks over here. See? <laughs> Some little lavender. Yeah, these are Walmart. And they were 97 cents. That eucalyptus, I don't really know how much that was. I've had it a while. And it's from Walmart, too. But I don't know. Let me see. I don't know how much it was. This was 97 cents. But Dollar Tree has really stepped up those. Are they? Oh, they're half. They are. Let me show you. Let me get one out. They're cut in half. They're called split beads. See, one side is flat, and the other side's they're split balls, split beads. They say on here split beads, and these are 15 millimeter, and they're probably they're smaller than a dime, I would say. 
It's okay, Sandy. We're making a cute little sign with a um a Hobby Lobby clearance item. It used to look like this from Hobby Lobby for two dollars. And then now I painted it and put little half split beads all around it and put some um, adhesive uh, wallpaper, whatever they call it, in the middle. Let me cut one more off. I got some of the flowers out here. No, they don't have holes. They're just like little solid flat. They're like a, a wood ball and they just chopped it down the middle. So, no, it doesn't have... Um, it doesn't have a hole. Just like a wood ball split in the middle. Okay. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get all this together. Which I've got some floral tape. Just trying to build my base a little bit. How I'm gonna do this. Trying not to let it get big and out of hand. Hey Pat from Gainesville. Let's see. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do now, I got it all bunched together and I gotta get my, um, I got some floral tape from the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna see how this stuff works. If I can find how to get it open. Where's the end? It's like trying to find the end of a roll of scotch tape. It's got some kind of shiny stuff on it and I'm trying to find the end of it, like tape. Oh well, here's what I'm fixing. Here's what Lee's gonna do. I'm just gonna pull this out and cut that off and got time to find the end. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kinda bunch this up. Like I said, I laid it down. I'm just trying to see. I don't want it to be too wild and go out the sides. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna wrangle this stuff together. Loving the look of this project already. I do too. I, I've been wanting to do something with those signs I got at Hobby Lobby and it just hadn't struck me to do it and today I was cleaning out my closet and I said I'm going to do something with that sign. Couldn't, I couldn't figure out what to do. But stuff just comes to you sometimes. So I'm just going to wrap this floral tape the best way I know how around and around and try to gather it in the middle. I guess I could have used wire. You could use wire. Clear, zip tie. You know what? You are so right, Laura. I'm gonna that's exactly what I'm fixing to do. I'm gonna zip zip tie. Why did I not think of that? Thank you so much for giving me that because I have zip ties over here just for that reason. <laughs> and I didn't even think anything about it. So I got these zip ties, they come in a pack at Dollar Tree. What in the world? I have done, looped one of my leaves in here, and now it's doing weird stuff. I don't know what I've done. Anyway, it's going to be okay. So I'm going to zip tie it. Running low surprise and have to add this to the list. I know, we're all enablers, aren't we? We are. Believe me, I got a stash that I think all y'all could come and craft and we'd be doing good. I love using your bow. Oh. Okay, so there's my zip tie. Got them all together. That's an awesome idea. Thank you for telling me that. I didn't even think of that. Okay. All right. So here is my little swag. And I'm going to put it there. Get rid of this. And... I've got to use these because I love these peonies. I think I'm just going to pull them off. They are just so, so pretty. See how pretty they are? I mean, they, they really stepped it up this year. So I'm going to do my best to try to hot glue them in. Let me find a couple of smaller ones. They are just gorgeous. Let's see. Okay, I'm just pulling them off. And let me get it off of my sign. So I'm just going to put a little hot glue right here in the middle by my zip tie. And then I'm just going to 
kind of stick the stem in between all those other stems and just kind of hold it. To make all day trip to Hobby. Yes, when this is all over, Hobby Lobby's going to be covered up, y'all. It's going to be covered up. Dollar Tree, everything's going to be so busy, but that'll be great because we need to boost the economy back up for sure. DT flowers. They are pretty this year, Graham. They are gorgeous. Like, I went in there and went crazy one day buying flowers, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I actually, some of y'all have seen it, but I have this big glass container over here that's just huge with Dollar Tree flowers. I just have them all stuck in there, and I just pull them out. Your craft supply list is bigger than your grocery list. I hear you. Priorities. Priorities. Can live on ramen and spaghettios and and just craft right there's nothing wrong with that all right so then i'm going to do the same with these i'm just going to put some hot glue i might just put it on him and then stick it down in there y'all this is going to look so pretty not not just saying that because i'm doing it but i just love these colors and i love the flowers so yeah, they have craft supplies at Walmart. You can go get your groceries, get you some chalk paint. They have boards and stuff too. You can be a crafting with some stuff at Walmart. They have florals and everything else. So look how pretty it's turning out, y'all. Look how pretty. That peony's kind of going crazy over there. Look how pretty it is. See? I just love it. Thank you, Rhonda. Let's see. Just putting some more glue on this one. I think I'm going to put three just because it's an odd number. It's pretty. I have to wait. Income. Yes, and I know there's so many people right now that are out of work. I'm still having to work. I work in healthcare, so um, it didn't affect me. But I know it has affected so many people. Thank you, Carol. But at least they're... Um, they're trying to do unemployment, that kind of thing. But hopefully, I'm hoping we're on the decline. I haven't heard anything about it today. I try not to watch a lot of the news. Look how pretty that is, guys. That is beautiful, isn't it? Hey, Shaney. Thank you. So, and I have a little, couple of little blue things here. I don't know if I'm going to add those or not. Uh, let's see. I might try to add a little bit stick it down in there and something I thought about I hadn't even thought about it was um, I could do the hanger in wood bead the wood beads with the jute on there if I wanted to hadn't even thought about that didn't even get them out can't believe I didn't think of that I don't know what that little thing's doing I'll take it out. It's got this. It's got this little thing on the end right here. Let me put it back on so y'all can see. See? It's got that little that, but it's like a whole different color than the flower. So I'm taking it off. I don't know what. I mean, I guess it's like little buds or something, but kind of looks like fish tank plants or something. You're an essential worker. I work with a company that's considered emergency service. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are. And, um, I mean, I just, like, the people that do nails and hairdressers and barber shops and stuff, I, I just, I hate it because, I mean, everybody's got to have a haircut for sure. And they really are when all this is over with. So, look how pretty, guys. Isn't that pretty? Kind of bend them a little bit. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Betty. Isn't that pretty? And that's Dollar Tree and Walmart stuff. So now I gotta hope and pray that it stays on my little board here. Oh, Walmart's roped off. Are you serious? They roped it off? You can't buy anything else in the whole store? What? Whose rule was that? They haven't done that here, but there's always Amazon. <laughs> yeah, and at least you can color your hair yourself. I can't, but, you know, mine's, 
And I got it mine done right before all this happened, so I got a little while. Jennifer, I'm sorry, I know it's, but we just think when all this is over, oh my gosh, you're gonna be working 24 hours a day trying to color, color everybody's hair. It's gonna be crazy, a good crazy. I just hope that people don't forget too quickly of what all we've done and, um, oh, you've had a cast on your arm for four weeks and, oh, I'm sorry. That's what I do. I'm an x-ray tech by day and I work at an orthopedic office. So that's what I do. I x-ray people and put cast on, take cast off. Yep, everything's open at our Walmart too, Kathy. I don't, so is anybody else's Walmart shut down like that? Like roped off? Where am I located? Um, Hernando, Mississippi. Who was it from Tupelo? Was it you that was from Tupelo a minute ago? I can't remember. Okay. Alright guys, I hope it don't fall off when I stand it up. This on there. Look how pretty that is. That is absolutely gorgeous, if I had to say so myself. Isn't that pretty? I just love it, love it, love it. It just, I love it when something turns out and I have a vision in my mind. And then after I do it, it looks so... It looks totally better than anything I could have imagined it looking. Our Walmart is roped off to in Pennsylvania. That's crazy. Crazy. Thank you, Kimberly. That is just absolutely crazy. Okay. I wonder if it's... Thanks, Carol. Thank you, Robbie. I wonder if that's the governor or is that... I mean, because ours is not that way. I mean, gosh, people are going to lose their mind. Okay, so now I'm going to hot glue this on. Thank y'all. I think it's beautiful too. Y'all want to see it again? It's very pretty. I think those little split beads just give it some little extra something something. <laughs> That's my little saying. Something something. Okay. Got to have a little detail. Alright, so now I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the back. And I'm... Did y'all just see that happen? broke my little hello look at it what happened where'd it go here it goes look <laughs> but when I glue it down I'm gonna fix it all is not lost did y'all see that happen it like totally just went bloop oh yeah I'm fixing you can't even tell it happened can't even tell look <laughs> it fell again. Yep. Hot, oh no, hot glue. That's right. Hot glue to the rescue. Okay. Let me see where I want to put it and then I'm going to glue it down and glue it back together. There we go. Maybe I'll just put a little dot on here. Yeah, that's what happened to you, Carol. I was like, I was scared when I held it up that was what was going to happen that I was going to, um, the flowers were going to fall off the front. <laughs> That was priceless, though, when that happened. That was so priceless. Okay. There it is. I mean, this is so delicate, this wood. The font that I used. It's really just now hitting off the line. So, y'all are a little bit behind. We have, I think they said we have, like, 20-something thousand tested. And then we have like 2,000 something cases in Mississippi. So it's about, you know, about 10% of people that are tested have it. My favorite today. I watched other, a few other crafters today. Yeah, y'all see my H just go whoop. Watch, it's going to do it again too. I don't know what I did. I guess I broke it somewhere in the transition here. And I'm just putting a little glue on it. And I'm going to stick it down and hope that it stays. And hope my H don't decide to bite the dust. And it did. But it's okay. Because I'm going to fix him. I'll just peel the... I had a Carol face when it broke. <laughs> I actually screenshotted her face that day. I rewound it back. 
And I screenshotted her face and sent the picture to her. <laughs> it's so funny. Yes, they do break easily depending on what font you use. Because that's so super, super, super thin. I don't know what I did to it. I guess I hit something in the process. But I'm going to fix it. You ain't can't even be able to tell, tell that happened. I can fix anything with a glue gun, just about it. Or I can try. I'm holding it down. <laughs> you know that's funny, Carol. Um, thank you, Lori. I got hot glue coming out the side. Even though I try to put it in just a little bit of hot glue. Yes, Sandy, Carol's face was priceless. I mean priceless. It was. But didn't it happen twice? I cut it, Veronica, on my Glowforge. I cut it on my... I have a laser cutter and I cut it. Out of wood. But I gave them an alternative. Where did I do with it? Here it is. This came in the little pack of words at Dollar Tree during the fall. And it was in a harvest pack. And had three different words. And this one was in that pack. And um, it says welcome. I started to use it. But I was worried that it would get covered up by my flowers. But it actually would have worked fine. Okay. Now I'm going to hold it up. And let's hope that it stays. Ta-da! Isn't that so stinking cute? See? You can't even tell. My hello is messed up. Look at it. See? It looks fine. Oh, thank you, Bobby. Oh, Tiffany, you're right, right, um, south of Tupelo. I don't know where Shannon is. I'm from Hernando, Mississippi, is where I'm at. Wish I could find someone to cut words. Why, well, you tell me what you need. I'll cut you some. I sure can. Thank you. Thank y'all. I love it. Don't you love it? And it started out looking like this. Now it looks like this. But see, it would look it would look so pretty too. I could have painted um, this. I could have painted this with pink. Done the same technique. I could have put it on there like that. And actually, I would have probably put some kind of little adhesive tape and raised the letters up off the board. But it would have been just as um, just as pretty as that. So thank y'all. I'm glad y'all hung out with me at least while I glued all 900 of these little bumps on this frame. Thank you, Stacy. Thank y'all. It's so pretty. I love it. And, you know, like I said, what I'll probably end up doing is taking this off and putting jute on it. And then um, put my wood beads on here like I like. Because that, then that'll kind of go with this. But then it may be a little too much. I don't know. I'll have to check it out and see. But isn't it pretty? See, you can't even tell that my H is all uh, fell apart. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes stuff happens and you just have to keep going. 15 minutes south of Tupelo. Uh, okay. Can't believe you found a Mississippi girl. That's me. Mississippi, born and bred. Been here my whole life. Yes, y'all follow me. If you click the screen, it'll have a little button that'll say follow. And you can also hit the uh, turn on notifications when I go live, and it'll let you go uh, let you know when I'm live. I try to do it twice a week. I may do some more here and there in the middle, maybe on the weekend sometimes. But um, this is what I wanted to do tonight. If y'all will sprinkle, I'd appreciate it. And um, thank y'all for coming on. I enjoyed my time, Billy. I like chatting with y'all because if it wasn't for y'all, I'd be talking to myself. So I'm glad you're here. Y'all are what makes my makes my page happen. Um, is you coming on and commenting and sharing and I said that word <laughs> and um, spreading the love around a little bit and I appreciate that I really do um, y'all inspire me to keep on crafting and doing things because I'd be crafting anyway but this keeps me going and it keeps my mind busy and um, I just enjoy crafting I always have so um, gotta think up some more stuff I gotta do I got some stuff going on up here that I want to do so I really appreciate appreciate y'all coming on tonight, and y'all stay safe, okay? And I'll see y'all next time. Good night, everybody. Go wash your hands. Bye-bye. <laughs>